I've had a fantastic day in the garden, but I've just come to a little bit of a problem after planting some carrots. I don't know how often I need to water them, and I don't know how much water they need as well. In this project, we'll be using a micro bit to act as a sensor to tell us how much water is in the soil. Wouldn't it be good if these plants could talk to us? Let's make it. For this project, you'll need a micro bit and battery pack, two crocodile clips, and just two ordinary screws, or nails, or anything metal. So the first thing that you'll want to do is open up your internet browser and navigate to microbit.org. From there, go on to Let's Code, and then choose their Make Code Editor. It's a lot like Scratch, where you drag and drop the blocks to tell the microbit controller exactly what you want to do. So, I don't want the LEDs to be very bright. So select the LEDs and then go on to the more option to grab the set brightness block. I'm going to drag that into the on start and make it a smaller value. This is just so that it saves energy when the micro bit's outside for a long, long time. Then let's draw our attention now to the forever loop. What we're going to want to do first of all is go down to these advanced functions to choose the pin. But it's really as straightforward as that pin 0 is sending electricity out and pin 1 is seeing how much electricity is coming back. It's looking at the resistance between those two pins that are connected to the screws in the soil. We're going to need to create a variable to have a look at that reading, how much of that electricity is coming back, because it goes up to the number 1023. So, in this forever loop, we're going to have to set the reading to whatever comes back from pin 1. So back to pin 1, analog, read pin, and I'm going to change that to pin 1. I can do that in just a moment though, because I've just had the idea, well, if this is a forever loop, that pin 0 is still at its maximum electricity, 1023. I need to drop it back down to zero so it doesn't confuse our micro bit. Now I've changed the reading of the analog read pin to pin one. I want to be able to see what's going on, so I'm going to choose the LED function to plot the bar graph. It'll show me the exact reading all the way up to its maximum value of 1023. It's 1024 by default. Next then, I want something to happen when I press the button. But on the input, I can't put that into my forever loop. So I'm going to need a logic function. If the button's pressed, then do this. So if the button A is pressed, I want it to show me the string. That's just the numbers and the words. So I'll have the reading come back to me, thank you. I'll duplicate that and drop that in. But the last of all, though, I don't want to go in all the time to save on electricity. I can't go up to five seconds. I'm going to have to type that in. Now 1000 milliseconds is one second, so I'm going to adjust that to five seconds by having 5000. Alright, that should be everything. So I can go and hit download in the bottom left of the screen, and that should flash onto the micro bit, ready to go. You'll know it's ready to go when it stops flashing. Let's get back out in the garden. Make sure your micro bit's turned on and then push the screws just a few centimetres apart from each other into the soil. Press the button on your micro bit and it should show you the reading of the moisture in the soil. If it's very wet soil, then it'll be a number very close to 1023. I just finished watering these, so these are very happy carrots. After we've got a recording of the moisture in the soil, it's then a question of what can we do with that information. We could either get the micro bit to water the plants for us, or we could get it to send a notification to our phones or other devices just to let us know that it's thirsty and it needs looking after. Anyway, we're going to have a look at the water pump in a future video. Thanks ever so much for stopping by Woody's Workshop. I'll see you next time.